Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Audrey. And this, and this is, is your Friday, Friday morning newscast. newscast. Hey, have you heard about our school's A grade? No, I haven't. What is it? Let's go to an interview to find out. How did our school get an A grade? Uh, there's a formula that the state has developed based on our I-STEP scores. Um, and because of our percent passing in math and language arts, and how well students improve, so it's not just passing, but how well they improved, uh, we were able to get an A school. So the students and teachers should be commended for all their hard work. Wow, that's cool. And BTV has recently just won two first place awards in Hollywood. Did they really? Yeah, they did. Here are some clips from the trip. This is BTV Live from Rodeo Drive. <laughs> Our second award is the best junior high school suspense thriller. And the film is... The Follower, directed by Oliver Abrams and Andy Sokol. We have put so much work into trying to make it the best we could. I just lost the words. <laughs> thank you. We just want to thank Mr. Reichen, our teacher, so much. Our next award is the best junior high school documentary. And the winner is... BTV, using technology for collaboration and creativity, directed by Thomas. Uh, once again, I would like to thank Mr. Rudkin for this. Uh, now to, to the feature. feature. I'm Kate. And I'm Hallie. And, and this, this is your Friday morning feature. feature. Hey, did you see Mr. Gilbert this morning? Oh yeah, he must be back from China. Let's go to an interview with him to see how it went. What did you get to experience in China? Uh, China, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I got to experience some of their culture. Uh, obviously, um, eating their foods and uh, uh, trying some of their uh, customs and the way they do things. Um, when we visited schools, they showed us some of the unique things that uh, you don't typically see in American schools. Um, and so, uh, it, was, it was neat to kind of see um, how other people live and uh, do uh, life in general. What did you learn in China that you can bring back to our school? That's a little more challenging um, because there's some things that uh, uh, culturally uh, we don't have here in the United States. Uh, they would have anywhere from 40 to 60 kids in a classroom um, and so you got to do things a little bit differently um, but I think that some of the things that I gathered from that is that uh, good teaching is good teaching, whether it's in the United States or China, good practices, uh, learning that it's important to care about the kids, um, and also um, making sure that you provide an opportunity uh, to help all students be successful. Let's take a moment to say get well to Bryce Minsoffer. He's recovering from a bad ankle surgery. Oh, I heard about that. I heard there's also going to be a card in lunch and you can sign for him. Great, I can't wait to sign it. And now to your Bulldog Sports. I'm Emily. And I'm Isaiah. And this is your Friday morning sportscast. Boys basketball officially started Tuesday. Low 7th and 8th grade lost but fall hard. Congrats to the new lady Bulldogs and thanks for all who tried out. Two of our bachelor cheerleaders were invited to the Philadelphia Parade on Thanksgiving. Now to an interview or something. What is the Philadelphia Parade? Um, it's a Thanksgiving parade that cheerleaders get picked to go to and perform. How were you accepted into the parade? At um, the UCA cheerleading camp, we tried out for All-American and then we got accepted. How does it feel to participate? I feel really honored to participate in a great event like this and to know that all of my hard work paid off. The answer to last week's brain trainer was the Medal of Honor. Now to this week's brain trainer with Mr. Webb. Who holds the record for the most games played in the history of any sport in the world? Report your answers to Mr. Rudkin in 220. <laughs> now to this week's flashback Friday. I'm Pond Water. And I'm Jackson. And we're signing off. off. Hold up, wait. Oh my lord. On Monday, December 1st, there's going to be a high convocation. Look at this. Bob is a one man volleyball team, and he beats teams such as the Minnesota Vikings, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and even first place beach teams. 
And look, he's even been featured on USA Today newspapers and on CBS Morning Show. And he's coming to play you, bachelor students, along with a very important message. The best convocation of the year, be there.